Looking for a better way to work internationally? FedEx Trade Networks provides worldwide freight forwarding solutions with a wide range of options to suit your cost and scheduling needs. We coordinate the transportation modes and carriers that best meet your company's requirements and budget. And we integrate and streamline all the steps from air and ocean freight forwarding to customs brokerage arrangement and trade and customs advisory services. Let's take a closer look. Need air freight forwarding? We have a range of options from airport to airport shipping in one to five days and even door to door service with FedEx International Direct Distribution Air Solutions that can bypass distribution centers and get your products to multiple destinations quickly. If ocean freight is your challenge, we have a range of choices that suit your needs with both economy and priority options, whether you have full containers or less than container loads. And we provide door to door solutions. But what if you need help getting your shipments from the port or airport to another location? We have you covered with everything from multimodal transportation to distribution and warehousing. Customs and trade regulations can be difficult to navigate for international shipping. We lead the way with cost-effective solutions to help you stay in compliance and keep your shipments moving, all with access to up-to-date tracking information that helps you make more informed decisions. These are just a few of the innovative solutions FedEx Trade Networks can provide your business. Challenge our representatives to show you how we can help you be a successful global player. Contact FedEx Trade Networks today. FedEx traces its history on 1971 when Frederick Smith, which is the current CEO, bought a controlling interest in Arkansas aviation sales. Smith named his company Federal Express in hopes of obtaining a contract with the Federal Reserve Bank and to draw public interest through the term Federal. The company officially began operating in 1973 with 14 small aircraft and delivering 186 packages to 25 different U.S. cities, such as Rochester, New York, Miami, Florida, and many more. In 1994, there's a few subsidiaries name change. For example, Federal Express changed its name to FedEx, RPS, a small package ground service, became FedEx Ground, Robert Express became FedEx Custom Critical. FedEx headquarters located in Memphis, Tennessee. The reason Memphis was chosen because its central location within the U.S. Secondly, because it's near the Memphis International Airport and the airport was willing to make the necessary improvement for the operations. Now, FedEx is one of the largest express freight delivery, delivery companies in the world, with 57,000 drop-off locations, 700 aircraft, and 62,000 vehicles. FedEx does business in over 220 countries and employs over 220,000 workers. The company is com comprised of subsidiaries such as FedEx Ground, FedEx Express, FedEx Freight, and FedEx Services. So here's are the FedEx sub-branding. FedEx services, it provides sales, marketing, information technology, communication, customer service, and other back off and other back office support. And for the FedEx Express, it offers global express packages and freight delivery on a time definite basis. FedEx Ground, it provides ground delivery of small packages to the US and Canada. And last but not least is FedEx Freight offer less than truckload freight services. FedEx don't have specific stated visions. However, the company does provide a written mission statement. So the first FedEx mission is will produce superior financial return for its share owner by providing high value added logistic, transportation and related business services to focus operating companies. Secondly, Customer requirement will be met in the highest quality manner appropriate to each market segment served. FedEx will strive to develop mutually rewarding relationship with its employees, partners and suppliers. And the last one is safety will be conducted to the highest ethical and professional standards. Effort made to reduce carbon emission are a part of FedEx overall strategy. FedEx fleet mile per gallon has dropped 14% since 2005 with a goal of a 20% reduction by 2020. Most FedEx envelopes are made from 100% recycled paper and boxes contain a minimum of 40% recycled content. FedEx has 
but that has recycling program in place for a variety of items including batteries, printer in cartridges, light, paper, oil, tires, plastic and many more. So here are the FedEx Corporation current organizational structure. As you guys can see, Frederick Willis Smith is the chairman and CEO of the FedEx Corporation, and Robert B. Carter is the CIO, Ellen B. Graff is CFO, and David J. Bronzek is the COO, and the rest. Why the first quarter was it has dropped? What you guys doing? Do I pay you to eat and sleep at here? Don't worry boss, we already did an analysis on our company. To solve this problem, we use Porter's 5 process analysis to look into the industry. For Porter's 5 process analysis, there are 5 aspects that we need to discover on. First is the rivalry among the existing firms. And for the rivalry, we think it is high. Actually, the strongest competitor for FedEx is the United Parcel Service, which is also known as UPS. They have $4.4 billion of net income in 2014 and more market share in the USA market. Although they have more net income compared to FedEx, but the EPS ratio for FedEx is higher than UPS. This, this shows the intense competition between the two competitors. The next threat of new entrants, we think it is low. Because entrants need huge costs to enter the market. Uh, as you know, carrier services need many vehicles and planes to run the service. If you don't have enough amount of vehicles and planes, your service will be inefficient. And also challenges with Federal Aviation Administration. The FAA is actually a governing body that uh, restrict or give you the right, the landing right, as well as access to airspace. And the next, the bargaining power of suppliers. We think it is moderate. The supplier's power is moderate because of the distinct types of suppliers they are getting. First, like the packaging materials or vehicles, we think it is low because of the suppliers is easy to be found and the amount for supplies also not enough to be to make the power to become high. But for fuel, the supply of fuel, it is the most important thing in carrier services. Without fuel, the company is nothing. So we think it is high. Neutralizing both of the types make the bargaining power of suppliers become moderate. For the bargaining power of buyers, it is moderate. As although the fierce competition and low switching costs occur in this industry, but there are also difference in power for individual users and company users. Of course, for company users, the big the bigger amount of business transaction makes them have the higher power towards the uh, company. And lastly, the threat of substitute products. Actually, the threat is low because we thought that the substitute products is only can be substituted by which method a product has shipped. If you don't use career services, the only choice you have is to do personal delivery. While the personal delivery method is too costly and inefficient. Okay, boss. Uh, our company have our own unique strengths. Perhaps we have some weaknesses to overcome also. So I will highlight some strengths and weaknesses of our company. So one of the FedEx strength is the company employees are loyal and efficient in delivering their service. So we can show that by proven its rank on 11 on the Fortune World Most Admired Company for 2017. The uh, employee is one of the important stakeholders for the company. So they take care for their employees, they will increase their strength also. So the second is the company has enough financial resource to meet the global change. So we can show that by the net income increased by 73% from 2015 to 2016. And they also generate a positive income throughout the five years. So we can show the graph here. It says that the, how the income of the company FedEx compared with the others so the third strength that we high, want to highlight is FedEx in innovating in managing their business. So we can look at a few aspects. First is the fuel saving. They use their technology to save 137 million gallons of fuels since 2008. Then the second is the Cosmos, which is the customer operating service master online system. And also the, they also offer the overnight package delivery which you deliver overnight then receive in the morning. 
Then the fourth strength that we want to highlight is strategic way in globalizing the business. So we has been working more than 230 countries across the globe. So how they expand the business? They expand the business through the acquisition of the others firm. So as we see the slide, from this, just from the 2012 and the previous, they still have, but I didn't highlight it here. So they acquired many companies, such as the most recent one, the TNT Express, in the 2016. Then the fifth one is, the FedEx has a high customer satisfaction for the service. So the FedEx company received the top 2016 quest for quality awards. So then the sixth one and the most, I think it's the most general one is the FedEx has the strong name recognition. So I think there is no need for us to prove that because everyone knows FedEx. So we come to the weakness. First weakness that we want to highlight is it's over dependent on the fuel. So in case the fuel price is increased, doesn't matter is a car or a jet fuel. So it will influence on their cost of course. So then the second is uh, expensive compared to other services. So we know that FedEx is all offer the quality service instead of the budget service. And the third one is the two depends on the US market, which 72.2% of the total revenue is from US. So this chart shows that they are the revenue from the US and the international. Then the fourth one is the FedEx is over dependence on the employees. For example, on the pilots. Without those pilots, they cannot deliver their, their parcel across the world. And as we know, pilots require a lot of license and it's not easy to get. So what they are doing is they try to attract their employees to not leaving the works. We still stick to them. And the fifth one is the FedEx office. So its website is equipped with the older technology which cause uh, many users is unable to access or to use the service. So what we can prove that we see the this uh, website. So it says that we apologize for the inconvenience, but it looks like the browser no longer support Flash. So Flash actually is a technology with the older technology, but the FedEx office is still use it. Instead of changing to the newer technology, they are sticking for the old technology and what they are trying to solve, they just offer the promo code for discount, not to try to innovate their website to change the new technology. So next is the IFE for FedEx. Due to the time constraint, perhaps I will highlight one strength and one weaknesses only. So the first, the strength I want to highlight is the FedEx has a high customer satisfaction for the service. So we can say from the FedEx, which I described from the strength, they get the awards for the quality of service. So I will be think that they react to this particular things very well so we put a score of four and for the weakness that i want to highlight is fedex is over dependent on a few so once fedex has respond to this they try to innovate on from the technology perspective they are trying to saving the fuel usage so we can see their response so we think that they are eligible to get two out of four so obviously the score of the fe of fedex is 2.x which means that they have the strong internal positions Next, we also have to look for the opportunity that help our company to expand. Meanwhile, we also have to consider the trade that will put our company in a risky condition. Next, let's look for the opportunity of FedEx. The first one is online shopping. IBIS World Research forecasts an 8.6% per year increase in online revenue over the 5 years. 30% more Africans become more familiar and proficient with online shopping. UK Forester Research showed that 248.7 million online sales are expected by 2014. Compound growth of 10% is forecast for the next 5 years. In Western Europe, sales are expected to reach 40 billion, a growth of 11% annually. In US, online customers found that 86% are satisfied with buying experience that began and ended with online stock. Next, let's look for the chart of satisfaction of expect of online shipping as fear. Most of the customers are satisfied with online shopping. Next, we look for the growing of potential customer. This is actually an expansion of the first point. 
increasingly in global sourcing and sealing have lead company to streamline their supply chain and open new market. Boeing company Air Cargo Forecast Team had forecast that an average 6.2% of air cargo traffic will expand for the next two decades. As press, air cargo had grown at more than twice the rate of total worldwide air cargo traffic, averaging more than 16% annually over the last two decades. You can see the graph. There is an increasingly of train of not air cargo traffic will triple over the next 20 years. Next point is cooperative, cooperative strategy to create a value for customer that exceeds the cost of constructing value in another way and to establish a favorable position relative to competition. For instance, US Postal Service USPS, the company roughly transport 3.5 million pounds of USPS package daily on its plane and will earn FedEx more than 7 million which is 6.3 billion in transportation charge and 900 million in drop box revenue in 7 years deal with USPS. Another alliance which KBMG which intend to deliver total end-to-end -end supply chain solution to large and mid-size company. Last point is growing of global transportation. During 2015, core transportation revenue in the US will be projected 974.4 billion according to Brookett Research. This revenue will projected 4.8 trillion included air, rail, water, pipeline, career and warehousing segment. Freight transportation by airport and all carriers is 207.7 billion in 2014 that showed an increase of 19% since 2010. Moving on to the trade of FedEx, which will put FedEx in a risky condition that is increasing transportation costs. Price level of fuel had increasing dramatically in for example in 19 fuel only cost about 50 cents per gallon but now it's 2.49 per gallon. We can see the graph here, this in 19 uh, the fuel only 50 cents but in 2017 is 2.49. Next is substitution of traditional meal. Electronic meal replaced the postal letter as a means of communication. Free meal service wireless broadband text messages are negatively affecting traditional meal service, especially in urban areas. Letter bank statement can now obtain through internet, decreasingly of traditional meal service resulting in lower revenue of, for company. Next is vulnerable to increasing reach by the major competition. Transportation and business service market are highly competitive and sensitive to the price and service. This leads to a very competitive pricing environment within the industry. Thus, it limits the FedEx ability to maintain or increase price or grow its market share. And lastly is economy in China. Economy in China slowed down led to a slowdown in economy of Europe and US market as well. Because China market is a primary creditor and biggest export market, crash from Shanghai stock market falling 70% 70, 70 value in one week and recently the dumping price of the RMB affect the business of FedEx with their heavy investment over the year by adding new plan to export to its hub and networks. We can see the graph here. There's a fall of market price of in Shanghai market. Then we go for the EFE metric, external factor evaluation. Uh, we can see that we rate the online shopping and the corporate cooperative strategy the highest for opportunity and we rate the increasing of transportation costs the highest because transportation is the main main factor to, for pricing. Uh, we can see the overall score is three point one six, which is above the average. Means that FedEx actually quite reactive to the opportunity and trade. Sun Tzu once said that if we know our enemy and ourselves well, we will never be defeated. 
So let's talk about our competitors. So the competitors of FedEx is UPS, Mutual Post, and United States Postal Service. First, we talk about UPS. UPS is the world's largest package delivery company and a provider of supply chain management solutions. It's founded in August 28, 1907, which is 109 years ago. Its headquarters is in Georgia, United States. It's delivering more than 15 million packages per day to more than 7.9 customers in, in more than 230 countries and territories around the world. Its product is Korea Express service, freight forwarding services and logistics services. Its revenue is 16.906 billion US dollar and the net income of UPS is 5.467 billion US dollar. So the UAPS provided three services which is US domestic package, international package and lastly supply chain and freight. Next. So UPS operate over 103,000 vehicles and own 33,000 packages containers. UPS Airlines, a division of UPS, operate the world's second largest cargo aircraft fleet with 240 aircraft. UPS Airlines processes of 416,000 packages per hour and its hub is in Hong Kong, China, Germany, Canada and many states. UPS is actively expanding internally and complete 70% expansion of its hub in Germany. In addition, UPS has acquired multiple firms in Latin America, Europe, and Asia Pacific over the last several years. UPS expanded its service that allow customers to pick up packages at convenience stores such as dry cleaners, UPS shops, and many other businesses. So next is UP USPS. So USPS is also known as Post Office, US Mail, or Postal Service. It's an independent, independent agency of the United States Federal Government, which is responsible for providing postal service at the US. It's formed in July 1, 1775, 242 years ago. Its headquarters is in West Washington, DC. The USPS is legally obligated to serve all Americans regardless of geography at a uniform price and quality. The USPS has exclusive access to the letterbox marked US Mail and personal letterbox in the United States. The operation of revenues of USPS is 70.4 billion US dollars, but have a net loss of approximately 5.6 billion US dollars. So the service provided by USPS is priority mail express, first class mail, priority mails and USPS Detail Ground, which is called Standard Mail, and lastly, International Mails. USPS employs some of 635,000 workers, making it the third largest civilian employer in the United States behind federal governments. USPS de delivers 660 million mail per day and has many as 142 million de delivery points. As of 2014, USPS operates 31,000 post offices and locations is in US and the delivers 155 billion pieces of mail annually. The USPS operates one of the largest civilian vehicles fleet in the world with an estimate of 211,264 vehicles, the majority, the majority of which are the LRV and CRV. This is by geography and volume the world's largest postal system delivering 40% of the world meal. Coming up next is DHL Dutchess Post. Dutchess Post operating under the trade name Dutchess Post DHL Group. This is a German postal service and international career service company. It's founded on 2 January 1969, 448 years ago. It's headquartered in, in Bonn. Dutchess Post is the successor of to the German Mail Authority Dutchess Post, Dutchess Bundles, which was the private li private license in 1995 and became a fully independent company in 2000. DHL Express is a wholly owned subsidiary. Since its privatization, Dutchess Post has significantly expanded its business through acquisition. Its revenue recorded as 56.63 billion 
euro. Well, the operating income is 2.965 billion US dollar, uh, euro dollar. This consists of four services, which is post e commerce partial division, express division, global forwarding free division, and lastly, DHL supply chain division. DHL is present in over 220 countries and territories across the globe, making it the most internationally company in the world, with a workforce exceeding 340,000 employees. DHL provides solutions for an almost infinite number of logistic needs. DHL is a part of the world leading postal and logistic company. The postal division delivers 59 million letters each day in Germany, making it Europe's largest such company. Coming, coming up next is competitive profile metric CPF, which has the global expenses recorded the highest package, which is 0 0.22, and service quality 0.15. And the rating of UK is recorded the highest, which is 2.88, while coming up next is FedEx 2.69, and the last is DHL 2.58. Hmm, looks like our 